Norm and I go way back, 1985, the fall of 1985. I was a apprentice lineman and he was a journeyman lineman and uh, he was working at Calhoun County REC. Norm was the first person I ever changed out a, a hot pole with. Well, I don't remember for sure, it was a lot of years ago. You know, Norm is pretty old. But I'm pretty sure it would have been at Professional Developers of Iowa con Conference. Uh, I remember Norm uh, from PDI years ago, before I got uh, in with the co-ops. Norm and I met uh, probably 26 years ago um, when I was hired by Midland, and he was already the member service guy at, you know, at Midland. So, so we got to know each other, and uh, on a professional basis, it was, it was a lot of fun, but we did a lot of personal things together. We went on vacations together. I got to know Norm a little deeper in the background than most folks do so so we've had a great relationship as Norm Fandel and, and my path uh, crossed and and we quickly became friends now uh, I thought about doing this this bit of a, an interview or a bit of talking about it and and somebody said well oh my god you're you're, you're not going to tell the truth are you and I said you know uh, for people like Norm Fandel it's very easy to tell the truth well we, our, our boys were the same age and so that's when all the football was played in the backyards and the baseball games and the basketball games. And so um, we had a few fights to pick apart probably once in a while. But uh, Norm was a great neighbor and, and uh, I can't remember how many years he stayed before they moved on to a different spot, but uh, he was always great. I think the thing that people like most about Norm is that he's genuine. What you see is what you get. There's no punches pulled. There's no back games. There's, there's none of that stuff. It's just, if you disagree, you disagree, and he'll let you know, and he'll state his side. If you and you state yours, and you can talk it out, and either come to an agreement or agree to disagree. It's just, it's that type of thing. And and you know, uh, he's hardworking. He's willing to share his knowledge. He's energetic. Um, he's smart. I hate to say that, but he is. <laughs> And, you know, uh, he's committed. He's committed to what he does for the co-op and, and for the members, and he always keeps the members in mind. So all of those things just sort of lead to, hey, you know, that guy, that guy is genuine. He cares about what he does. He cares about the people he serves. You know, whenever he asks you something, you, you, you know that he genuinely wants to know what your answer is. He cares. Um, he's got a warm heart. Um, he can dish it to you just as easy as he can take it and uh, he's always, you know, he's always got a laugh somewhere or a story to tell you. Um, but no, he's, he's very genuine. He, um, I mean, that's how I was drawn to him right up front. You know, I was new in town. He had been there for a while. Um, just talking to him, you know, he, you could tell he cared who you were, where you were going, what your thoughts were. When you talk with Norm and are in conversations with him, it seems like you have his undivided attention. You know, he's, he's not looking around trying to see who's in the room, he's talking to you. And he seems genuinely interested in what you have to say. He's kind of like the Norm on the end of the bar, you know. Uh, but he's, he's just an honest person and he's been easy to talk to. Everybody knows Norm, so I mean, you, you just, it's all kidding aside, it's Norm. That's when I, when I see him, that's how I do it. Norm! You know, we used to get together with a bunch of guys and we played cards on Wednesday night. And, you know, it wasn't about winning or losing, it was about getting together with the guys, telling stories, giving each other bad times. Some of my favorite memories of Norm would be out at the golf course, I think, and uh, the rounds that happen after the, the league is over, and uh, some of the stories that get told after those in the bar and, and those kind of things, so always fun. He started elk hunting with us about five years ago. Um, first year, I don't, I don't think we saw an elk, but he was like, hey, I'd go again if you if you take me back and you know our group we've got a core group that have done this for about 30 years now and there's about six of us that have pretty much not missed a year in there and Norm was one of the new guys in but Norm fit in right away so that that was good and he's always welcome back and then the second year he went we got into to a big herd of elk and he was able to shoot his first elk and that was pretty exciting we're like family I know his kids he knows my kids and so we go back. <laughs> it's been a great opportunity to, to work with Norm as, as one of the top economic development uh, rural electric cooperative people in the state. The economic development piece of it 
and how what he does on the economic development side impacts the rest of the rest of the business and how growing the load at Midland and previously at Calhoun growing that load really helps stabilize rates well, I'd say two things. One, know that Norm works for a co-op, and so Norm was all about a cooperative, but the whole idea of cooperatives, one of the main principles is helping their community, and boy, Norm was all over helping his community. You know, his, his work for the casino, and uh, there in Jefferson, uh, the other communities that he's been in, uh, in his career. Also, then, uh, just look at the uh, pure job creation, economic development projects, and low growth that he provided for the Midland, uh, Midland member owners. Uh, has been fantastic. Nobody knows that business better than, than Norman. I mean, he, you, you would think he'd work, he, he works at an ethanol plant just because of his knowledge, but that was, that's another part of economic development. He, he could see back in the early 2000s that, hey, this is gonna, this is gonna boom, this ethanol industry, and he, he jumped in feet first and uh, learned everything he could about the ethanol industry, and uh, that, that's, that's why he's good at what he does. His insight from his work with Midland, uh, knowing people, having connections, uh, knowing the conduits to get a certain job done that other people just don't have. And so I think it's his overall knowledge and overall connectivity with the rest of the economic development world that has brought a difference. Well, if you if you'd stack up all the projects all the successful community projects that Norm has been uh, involved in. The, the uh, manufacturing uh, organizations that have come here and have flourished because of the development help. All of the grants that uh, Grow Green County Gaming Corporation gives, we, we give out about one and a half million dollars worth of grants every year. When you take a look at all that, and then the work that Midland Power has done for our, our county, uh, I don't think there's anybody outside of the, of the immediate development group that, have, that would have any idea how valuable Norm has been. Norm, I, I wish you the best, and, and uh, please hit the door running, don't look back. Uh, there's, uh, there's lots of opportunity and there's lots of things to do out there. I wish him nothing but the best, I really do. Um, I hope wherever he goes and whether he's at Okaboji or he finds a place somewhere down south and plays golf in the winter, um, you're always going to know that if you're in a town and you don't know if Norm was there and you happen to be in the same bar, somebody's going to yell out Norm and you know it's going to be the Norm that you know. Norm, you've been a great friend and great counsel to me in a couple of different careers and I wish you all the best in your retirement. Norm, uh, <laughs> we're going to miss you. And we hope you miss us. We hope that you that you come back and, and stay a part of our development work as long as you want to. You'll you'll there'll always be a chair at the table here for you. I would say just enjoy the journey. And we say that a lot here at Home State Bank. And I think that would be my message to Norm.